Hi there. <laughs> Hi, Smiley. Yeah, welcome back. As you can see, outside spending some time. Yeah, with the little one. But we got work to do on the car, but she always wants to be with that. Yes. <laughs> she always wants to be, be with daddy, but what can you do? That is a little girl. But now we're gonna be doing some work on the M5. Time to make this car breathe properly. Yeah, I did um, replace the charcoal filter and put a K&N filter in a while back, but um, that's not good enough. Not for the M5. This car needs serious air. And it's about time. Now we're just gonna jump right into it and trust me, if you don't like it when you're done, something's wrong because I know I'm going to love it. Well, it's nighttime, but that ain't going to stop us. So remember that little piece I told you that I had welded up, welded on? It was this piece here. But now we're just going to take the whole thing out on both of them. And then we're just going to see how it works from there. I haven't tried it yet, so let's see. We're going to unplug uh, the mask for air sensor here. And then we're gonna transfer this over to the other one. So once you disconnect that, slide it off. Unhook this hose. And one's out. Why are you guys so quiet all of a sudden? Huh? Huh? Everyone's all quiet now? Oh wow, look at that. I finally get him to shut up. No, I'm just playing. Oh <laughs> shit. Uh, she may be getting here. <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah, that, um, that plastic tube there we're gonna have to take that one out, but there's a few screws involved first. There's that little silver screw down there that we have to take out. And then that thing will be able to come out. Man, it's getting so cold already. I have to start putting on the sweater, closing the garage door because it's so cold outside. But we were under the hood last night. We mocked up one side just to figure out what we have to move and what we have to do. And man, I'm loving the way it looks. I'm really loving the way it looks. Now we're gonna set up and we're gonna do the other side, tighten everything up. I did take the front bumper off, it made things a little bit easier and these bumpers are easy to come off. As Frank says, man, if I ever want to take my bumper off, I'll come to you because you just take it off in two shakes of a lamb leg because I took it off before and once you do it once, it's so easy to come off. But now we're gonna set up and we're gonna put the other side on. And man, I can't wait, to wait till you guys see this. I know some of you won't love it because there's always just some people out there that just no matter what you do will never please them, but guess what? So be it, but I'm loving it and it's gonna look good. All right, so this hose goes in between here and this is one of the reasons why the MSR one is so expensive. I think they still give you a piece of aluminum to go in between there, but I really don't care because this works great. So all I have to do is just put it through the hole, twist it and it comes out right around the front where you want it. Remember to get this out of there. And now, make sure we take this out of here. Don't want anything going in there, right? Now the PA star resistance. So what I got, I bought three inch rubber coupling and I cut a piece off because it was just too big. And I was trying to find smaller ones, but no one had smaller ones. This one goes on here, Just center it so you have enough for both sides. And now we're gonna get the mass flow air sensor. Take your time, take it out. You don't wanna break or damage this thing. And this thing only fits in one way. It's still in great shape. <laughs> Put it in. Push it down, it's nice and tight. Put the two screws in. Oh, not those screws, because this is this is plastic, this is metal. This came with its own screws. 
I'm gonna go locate those screws somewhere and put them in and I'll be right back. Okay, she's in there good, nice tight fit. <laughs> uh, I'm not even gonna say it. Grab this. And I have a clamp, oh, there it is. Make sure I put this on. They didn't send one for here, but I wanna clamp everything because this is tight here. It's ne never gonna come up. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay, enough of that. So I'm just gonna get this clamp on here. Well, I can't see shit down here. Put a little lube on here so it slides in better. What is it with this today, man? Everything has to, come on guys, get your minds out of the gutter. Line these up, make sure they're right where they're supposed to be. I took these off the old intake from the M5 because you know what? They're nice and thin and they look, they're gonna work great. So I just use these ones. So I wanna make sure it's lined up properly. Right up against it. And I'm gonna tighten them up. And we have to put the filter in the front. Okay, now I'm just gonna put my ring on. Grab my filter. And then I'm gonna tighten up my ring. All right, tighten this up and it's all done. Just look at that beauty. My, my, my. Oh, I'm loving it. Again, wait to show you guys the overall picture. First, I'm gonna put the bump bumper back on. You see the smile on my face? That's because this thing looks damn good. Frank's back there polishing up uh, some spots on the car because we're going to ceramic coat it. But that, that's not what it's about. Everything is finally done. Engine is finally put back together. The bumper is put back on. But I'm going to show you this thing, man. It, it is looking good. Like I said, it won't be for everyone, but I love it. I don't like it. I love it. First, check that out. So that's why they're going to look in the grill. But then when you go up to the engine bay, look at this thing. Now tell me that don't look good. Yes, I did go ahead and paint the engine cover. I didn't show you guys that because it was done from maybe a month ago. But look at this thing, man. So we got the charge pipes done. We got the air intake. And then we got the engine cover. I wanted it in carbon fiber, but I wasn't about to spend 800 bucks on it. But just look how this thing comes together. Look at that, my. I'm loving the way this thing's looking. Oh. And that matches, of course, the calipers. Okay, people, so after I install that uh, intake, I had to go, I have to go for a drive to hear how this, this thing sounds like. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna sound good, but let's see if I get a chance for you guys to get a sound clip. But there's so much traffic out here, I don't know how much I'll be able to do. I can hear it from in here. Wow, this thing moves. This is in comfort mode. Let me put it in M1, because in comfort mode, this thing is kind of sluggish, but I do find out that it responds a lot quicker in, um, in comfort mode than it was before. But we're about to find out how this thing sounds. when I tune these things and I do some, wow. uh, <laughs> imagine when I tune this thing and I do some downpipe oh my god this thing's gonna sound good but this is not the end of it so what else I have I don't know what I want to do next because I still have um, 
all the carbon fiber stuff to do outside the rear diffuser the side skirts i'm trying to make my own front lip i don't know how that's gonna go um i still have to do down pipes exhaust <sighs> so much more to do but uh with a little one and work and i have to go to work but sunday i'm going to a car show so me the m3 and the other frank is going to a car show on sunday and this thing uh, trust me i'm loving the way look he's loving the way the m3 look and frank's already done underneath his hood but this thing is sounding good let's see if we can get some more clips smile on my face oh my god this thing is so much quicker right now but hey guys if you're new to the channel consider subscribing like i said there's lots more to come but uh i'm gonna go beat up this neighborhood for a while somewhere in mexico if you know what i mean um <laughs> so much fun um so uh yeah and like i said if you're new remember to subscribe and click that notification bell so you get notified every time a new video comes out because there's lots more videos to come and also I'm getting a new car to the channel too so there's gonna be more work to do there's gonna be more work to do with, uh, with that car but 